Hello and welcome to another hotel review from Pattaya here in Thailand. And it's this hotel behind me. I know it does look like two ships in a harbour. That looks like the bow of one and that looks like the stern of another. But no, it's a hotel. It's the hotel we're staying in for one night, B&B. It's called the A1 Royal Cruise Hotel. We're already checked in, already got my key. We're on the seventh floor in room 7. Let's check this hotel out. Now as you're walking up the side of the hotel, it does give you that impression that it is some sort of huge cruise liner. The whole shape. It definitely looks like a ship, you wouldn't say that was a hotel. Check-in, again, dead simple. Passport, signature, and again, a thousand baht deposit. There seems to be a bit of a trend with these hotels. You have to leave a deposit. This time it wasn't in cash. This time it was on your card, which you get refunded when you um, check out. So, we're in the room. This is classed as a sea view mini suite. Let's have a look around. So right by the door, you do have a sliding door, which is the toilet. And then a card slot for the electricity. So you put a card in that activates electricity. The aircon, the aircon is working because I can feel it. It's nice and cold. And then we have a floor to ceiling wardrobe. Plenty of hanging space and a digital safe. It's the usual four digits to lock and again to open. A drawer with your laundry on so you can have your laundry done at the hotel. On this side, a pair of dressing gowns and a pair of slippers. Plenty of hanging space. Right, and then your main room. So it's it's open plan, you do have your lounger. It is classed as a mini suite, and there's the huge bed. It has got an old school feel because it is classed as the Royal Cruise Hotel. So you have your complimentary water and tea and coffee. It's a mini fridge, not uh, a mini bar. Remote control. As I said, I'll look at the bed in a minute. Definitely a nautical feel going on. Your mirror. I think this is just for decorative purposes. Yes, it doesn't open. Little bit of a, a chaise lounge there. 
your stand for your suitcases and quite a good size flat screen TV. Class is a mini suite but it's quite large. Now I've noticed that the ensuite is split into three again so I like the way they do that with the, the ensuite if they split them into three because someone could be having a bath or a shower and you, you're not blocking the toilet so so it's split up into three areas you do have your sink area cotton buds comb shower cap shaving kit and two dental kits good size mirror and then we have the bathroom nice and clean oh it's sort of like a wet room because you do have your drainage in the floor as well yes there's your shower head shower gel and shampoo Right, the toilet. Looks nice and clean. Now I have booked, as I said, uh, a mini suite with a sea view. So let's have a look at the balcony. It looks a large balcony straight away. But that's huge. The heat. <sighs> Couple of chairs and a table. And as I said, a very large balcony. The only thing missing up here, they could have done but put maybe a sun lounger or two. That wouldn't have gone amiss. And the sea view. Now a very large bed, a couple of bedside tables and we do have power points either side, no USBs but there are power points each side of the bed. Let's do the bed check. You can see again the sheets. We've got the iron line in it. Pillows, yes they have pillow protectors on. This is a horrible light, it's very very yellowy. Let's pull up the bed. Again, they don't seem to have, um, that's just bits of, bits of cotton. They don't seem to have mattress protectors, they just have toppers. And that looks clean enough. Oh, and I almost forgot the hairdryer. So that's the tour of the room done. Let's check out the rest of the hotel. I've just noticed there is a notice next to the side of the bed which states that the pool is closed due to renovation. But it does state that you can use three other pools for the three sister hotels. Just going to find out how far away these sister hotels are.
good morning. We've already been down for breakfast. There wasn't a large selection uh, of English food. Uh, we are in Thailand, but there's a lot of Thai food on the breakfast. So we had just a couple of eggs, a bit of toast, and that was it, basically. Now, what's my verdict on this four-star hotel, the A1 Royal Cruise Hotel here in Pattaya? The location of the hotel is fabulous. It's right on Beach Road. Uh, if you're looking out from the front of the hotel or looking out from your balcony, you are looking out at the ocean. Beautiful location, right next to the night markets. There's everything around you, plenty of restaurants and bars. The hotel itself, it gives you that, that gimmicky feel that you are on a cruise liner when you're not. And that is the reason why I booked this hotel because I liked the gimmick aspect of the hotel. It does look like a cruise ship in a harbour, and that is the reason why. 